Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary. And I just want to wanted to revisit a knife. This is the Urban EDC exclusive knife. A Copita. It's called the Copita. It was uh, made by uh, Voxness. You're familiar with the designer Vox. Voxness. <laughs> so this is a super small knife I I did a review on that if uh, I gave all the specs I believe you can see that that up there and uh, I just wanted to review this knife well revisit this knife because uh, uh, I'm going to lend it out to grumpy grunt if you're familiar with grumpy grunt his channel will be his channel is uh, a link in the description if you're not familiar with Grumpy Crunt. So he wanted to check this out. I think he's a big fan of uh, the designer Voxness. Uh, so. I don't know if he knows what he's getting himself into. Bo, because this is a very small knife. Can you see it? <laughs> so if I didn't have this uh, front uh, front finger choil I couldn't get this knife in my hand this knife uh, would be a great candidate for a, a lanyard I haven't touched attached the lanyard to this already but you can see I've been carrying it and I don't know if uh, if you maybe if you see my first video the brass is a lot shinier this is a bra brass backspacer this version of the knife only comes with a, a brass backspacer there's three other versions of the knife this is the uh, green micarta version and it comes with a brass backspacer the other three versions come with a titanium backspacer so this is a brass plate you could if, if you watch my other video you can see it's very shiny brass this is titanium on the other side this is a titanium pivot and this is titanium pivot but they used brass on that I believe uh, other the other versions that have they have a titanium so there's two versions that come in a, a PVD coated titanium, black titanium, and a, a regular naked titanium. And there's another version that has a brown micarta, uh, but they didn't use the they use the titanium on the backspacer and the titanium plate. So this is kind of a unique version, if you ask me. You can still get it. I don't know if you can get. I don't know if the, the other two versions will ever come uh, the other three versions will ever come in stock so probably it was limited because it was made just for urban EDC so it has a nice crown sort of a crowned spine on the the blade even the even the brass backspacer you can see it has a crown spine too I this knife was eased over perfectly in every situation look at this blade even the bottom with the jimping and the bottom with the choil is crowned this is knife is a really nice knife for the size of it I probably should clean up the micarta because uh, the micarta is starting to dirty up with the uh, use so let me just show just for fun show some size comparisons I don't know what grumpy is getting it, himself into because this is a very small knife I, I've said that before let me go top down and show some of uh, the knives next to it just to just to reassure him this is a small knife Okay, let's compare some other knives to it. 
you see this is I got the James brand um, I'm always forgetting this name I'll put it on their screen but this is a James brand knife I can usually flick it out you have to get your finger in there just right anyway you can see it, it compared to a really small knife and it's even smaller than let's get it pivot to pivot it's even smaller than this James brand knife um, uh, let's uh, pull out this uh, real steel Sacra compare it to the Sacra <laughs> Uh, I thought the Sacro was a small knife. It's kind of a medium knife. You can see it compared to the Sacra. Um, oh, this is a good comparison. A good comparison. This is uh, the Baby Banter. I would I carried that yesterday. So the Baby Banter, when you think of it. It's about the same size as the Baby Banter. And I remember Grumpy Grunt, I think he liked the Baby Banter. I think he liked the, the Baby Banter better than the full-size Banter. Well, the full-size Banter is kind of the same size as the Baby Banter. But the Baby Banter has a nice front choil. Nice front choil. Yeah, if he liked that, he probably would like the Capita, maybe if my memory serves me correctly <laughs> so you can see grumpy grunt is the same size as the baby panther let's uh get this knife out of here let's compare it to this very small dagger voron so this 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 dagger voron is super small <laughs> yeah so you can see how it compares to like a, a enormous knife <laughs> where you could like I could get a almost almost th three more fingers on this knife <laughs> it's about the same size as the blade <laughs> All fun aside I just think it's a, a great little knife and you know you should check out my review of this knife if you want to know the specs man that brass is really patining up P patining I don't know patining up <laughs> that's uh, hard to say uh, for me so I'm not going to clean this up. Uh, I'll probably send it to you just like it as is. Um, but eventually I'll probably take this knife apart, clean up the brass, and clean up the micarta, and uh, make it nice again. But if it's serving me well as a fifth pocket knife, fifth pocket knife, yeah, I would say it's a fifth pocket knife. So, lastly, I'm just going to compare it to the Micarta to the, the Kershaw Federalist. And you could see, I don't know if, if you kn knew this or would consider a, a Kershaw knife uh, equivalent to like a, like a Voxinus knife or, or a premium knife. But at least when I look at the Micarta, this is supposed to be the same color. It's kind of a od green but i don't see green in either one of them but the micartas sort of they sort of match up they they look the same quality maybe this is a voxness is a little bit more quality but i always thought the the kershaw federalist was pretty quality for the like a, a it's like a only a hundred and eight dollars or something whereas this knife is maybe i think it was listed as 207 or 200 and something a lower low number 
but a hundred dollars more <laughs> but this is uh this comes in m390 steel so i don't know if that's considered premium nowadays but i think it's still considered a premium it doesn't say but i i remember this is the m390 whereas uh the kershaw federalist was i think it's uh cpm 154 so at least it's the the powdered material but this is kind of a a neat comparison a companion piece uh, just yeah i don't know <laughs> uh anyway i'm gonna wrap this review up or like this revisitation not a, re a review so I encourage you to check out my review. It's probably not super f professional, as always. I think I did it seven months, six or seven months ago. So hopefully it got, it, it has all the specs in there. I just mostly did this for Grumpy, just to, uh, oh, it has a rub mark on there. I don't know how the, how that happened. Like I said, I've been carrying it a lot, so I always toss it in my pocket like a fifth pocket knife should be. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Take care, Wastelanders. <laughs>